What is up, everybody on YouTube? AJH23, hold on, I'm gonna adjust you. AJH23 back with a review, a shoe review that I've been waiting to get out for the longest time, and now I actually have the time to do it. So, you should already know what the uh, review is on, and that it's one of the most, or is the most iconic, um, shoe Jordan Brand has ever made or Tinker Hatfield I should say so you already see the box so let's get into it so what I have here is the Air Jordan 11 box and I will show some b-roll of around it and all of the details and stuff like that so um, well first off the uh, size is a size 11 um, the official colors are black, gym red, white, anthracite, and the rest is all like French or something. And retail, suggested retail, is 220 as you can see right there. And on the box, um, for those of you that didn't know, on the, um, the, across the middle of the shoe, there's like this logo right here. And if you didn't know, if you turn it sideways, which I'll show the B-roll, it actually says Jordan, and then it says Jumpman. Um, I didn't know that until I actually turned it sideways. And you guys I know that this is the 23 at the top of the box. And uh, yeah, and the bottom, you don't really, nobody really cares about the bottom, so. Um, let's get into it. Um, first off, when I open it, there's this red little uh, thing which says Tinker made them shine, Mike made them fly, and you made them iconic. So that's, that's on this red little cover thing that goes over the shoes. And then you see the white and black carbon fiber paper even though the carbon fiber on the sneaker is red and black but here they are like I said for wait I haven't even said it yet but I have worn these three times already so they are DS um, I actually worn them so and these literally are the most comfortable Jordans I've ever owned um, I did pay 260 for them which is a little bit I mean, I wanted $250, like $20 over retail, but they wouldn't, so they took $260. So here they are, here's the sneaker guys, uh, 23 stitched in on the back, and also, the inner lining is like this suede material, I don't know, it's like a very soft, like this shoe is very, very high quality, and um, like when I first got these and looked at them in person, I was like, wow, those are, those are sick. Um, on the laces, they do say 72 on one and then on the other one says uh, 10. Wait, no, yeah, 72 and 10, yeah, my bad. And on the inside, they're just red Joe Man, that's regular. Um, but on the insole, it comes with this very shiny uh, little uh, um, shoe like for your shoe I don't know what it's called honestly but it's very shiny it's like has this gloss to it and uh, sparkles so sparkles um, pretty much and all you all know that all 11 some most 11s have this patent leather upper and there is the uh, Jordan little thing right there but um, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on the shoe. Well, obviously I bought them and paid over retail for them. So I love them. Um, let's just say this is the best shoe that I've ever had in my collection. Um, ever. I've had, I have twos and fourteens and like these weird looking alpha ones. But these shoes are the best shoes that I have in my collection and I am so blessed and grateful to have these in my collection I've wanted them ever since they came out 
in um, December of um, I think 2015. 20, I think it's 2015. Yeah, let me look real quick. If I can see it, tags in here and it says what year it came out. Uh, 15, yeah, 2015. And just, it's so, this, the quality on this, like I can't get over it, like, it still smells like a new car, like that leather in a car, it smells just like that. And the inside, even though I wore it three times and sweated, or was very sweaty, I guess I should say. The bottoms are my favorite part. You probably won't see that good of it because it's like, it's an, like an, a milky, I guess, white. It still has that dirt and stuff on it from me wearing it. I tried to clean the bottoms as much as I can, but, and also, I'm not surprised if Jordan wore these a lot because these are really comfortable and have really good grip. And I can feel like the zoom pods, I think they are. I don't know what's in the bottom of these 11s, but it's very comfortable. Like, most comfortable Jordan I've ever had. And they do feel like, they do feel good, like, better than the Futures. Even though those are like, those are supposed to be, like, very comfortable, which they are. Just these are a lot more comfy. So, yeah, just pretty much an all leather upper suede or new book hits. And the little rope laces with the red Jumpman on the back and Jordan brand we need this we need this on all of our shoes the stitched in 23 the, all of the Jordan 11s we need that and like you did that for the uh, space jams and then this and then probably the suede 11s but you always had it like screen printed or something I don't know what it's called but you need to stitch it in all the time no matter what so anyways guys I'm gonna get out of here thank you guys for watching this and I hope that you enjoyed now let's get into the on foot Young niggas can't be tamed. 